Hello everyone, welcome to Sergeant Major Smoke. My channel is about barbecue and food. I'm not a professional, but just a regular guy who has a passion for food and cooking. For those that are new to my channel, if you enjoy the content, please like and subscribe and make sure to hit that notification bell to get notified every time I drop a new video. For those returning to the channel, as we grow, we also morph as well. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below as I will read and respond to them. And now for today's episode. Welcome everyone to Sergeant Major Smoke. On today's episode, we're going to make a bacon wrapped pork loin, episode 008. Okay, everyone, we're going to do a bacon wrapped pork tenderloin. So this is a eight dollars and seven cents Canadian from Walmart and it's 0.539 kilograms so about almost a pound pound ish I'll put the conversion up top and then in a pound of bacon well I guess it's more than a pound oh, ish. so I'm gonna wrap this this is a maple flavored bacon Again, just out of Walmart, great value brand. It smells delicious. Again, something else I haven't done, but I'm going to try it. I'm putting some parchment paper, and I got some butcher twine because I want to wrap it because I want I want the bacon to stay stay in place. I kind of overlap this a little bit here, ish. I tell you, it smells. I just eat, eat this bacon right now, I tell you. It smells delish. It's not very big, so I'm going to do six and six. Hopefully that works out. You know, if it's mostly bacon wrap, well, that's good enough. Again, because I'm not a professional, I'm just sorry to make you smoke. A guy who likes to eat, a guy who likes to cook. Okay. This is one, two, three, five pieces here. So I will do one of these. Over every second guy. So say over, 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 lay it out, put it on top. And then take the opposite guys. Again, I haven't done this before. So if it turns out uh, not so good, well, you know, oh well. I just wanted to, you know, ramp it up, pig on pig. And by using the parchment paper, it'll help me put it on. I'm also going to inject the pork loin. I've never been good at braiding, if you can't tell. Again, this smells absolutely delicious. Maple flavor bacon. Oh, awesome. Two more strips. I can't get over the smell. I have not repeated myself, but my god, it smells good. I 
Look at that. Don't look all pretty. So I'm going to take my pork loin here. Another Walmart special. Because again, that's what the average Joe is going to use. Take my parchment paper, flip her up. Give a little pressing. Put the paper again. Take my butcher twine here. That looks amazing. And just tie it off. Just to kind of hold the bacon in place because I really don't want it to come off. When it does cook, it's going to shrink. I like the pork loin, it's going to, you know, reduce the size and shrink as well. So if I can hold most of the bacon on, I think it'll just get a better finished product, which is to me super cool. So here's a nice finished wrapped pork loin, but unfortunately I forgot to add the brown sugar before I wrapped it. So of course I had to redo it all again, which is why the next clip is me putting the brown sugar back on. And of course it never goes back as good as it, your first had it, but oh well, that's life, that's what happened. So what I'm going to do, now I'm going to take some brown sugar, oh, this is actually Yellow golden sugar, just like whatever. Spread it around. Take the pork loin. Ooh. A little bit, a bit more of the brown flash. Twenty-four hours, but you know, overnight. Yeah, and that's that's usually good enough. So it's not the prettiest looking thing. But it smells delicious. Pure apple juice. Just pump some in. It's gonna make a mess. That's okay. Apple juice and pork goes really, really well together. When I'm doing a pulled pork, uh, which I haven't done yet, but I will do a pulled pork video. And look, you see it just swell right up. Uh, I always inject it with applesauce, sorry, apple juice. I find it goes really, really well. Again, because I, I don't like dry meat. I'm going to use this all up. It's only about a cup or so of apple juice. Just a few spots. Here it is, out of the fridge, marinating, marinating, injecting about 16 hours ago. I'm sure it has lots of flavor, and I can't wait to get on the grill, and I can't wait to get into it. So today we're going to do pork loin. Very simple. Again, clump charcoal for the cook. And I like these briquettes as a starter. So I'll light my fire block here. Another fire starty thing with Jiggy. And my little paper. Get a big airflow, make sure we're good. Oh, 
we'll flip that set up. Once those brick hits burn up, then we'll do the rest. Okay, so good enough. Flames coming up. This sprinkling all my pump charcoal. Start our cleaning doogie, get this out of the way, let it cool down. Spread a little bit. I'll take a close up after I get my tools in place. So, as you can see, I basically want the coals on one side. I'm going to do a bit of an indirect cook. I don't want to burn the pork loin so I'm gonna have it here on the right hand side my coals and obviously water I like having water in it okay a last minute change I decided to do a little bit of a, a marinade a little bit of a marinade for it uh, starting off with the brown sugar, or again, yellow sugar in this case, uh, the same that I used when I wrapped it in bacon. Take a little bit of El Cheapy fake maple syrup here, a little bit of maple flavor. You see my accuracy in my measurements because, well, that's how I roll. Recipes are a guide. Food should be enjoyed. Come on, mustard. This is just against some. Giant Tiger special here too. It's going to give that a little bit of a mix up. Nothing fancy. Just to help with the caramelization. It smells delicious. I'll just kind of scoop that on. Roll it around. Nothing major. And there you go. Super easy. Temperature is reading 325, so probably around 250, which is what I want. If I can do this carefully, ish. Oh yeah, look at that. Hear that sizzle? Thermometer. I have it set for 145. I will probably check back in about a half an hour. Again, I don't want to burn it. So that's why I'll keep it to the right hand side as much as possible. But I want to make sure that, you know, obviously, well, it cooks, and it will. It will cook at the temperature. But I don't want it to get burnt. I don't want it to cook too quick neither. I don't want it to dry. I don't want it to be juicy. That's why I injected it. You can still see some remaining apple juice leaking out of it. And also, I'm going to put that quick little marinade that I made up. The mustard, maple, maple syrup, and brown sugar. Okay, so I just checked on it. Temperature is too hot. You can hear the sizzling. Stuff drips, you know, the grease and whatnot. It drips, flares up. So I just shifted it a bit more to the right. It's looking lovely. And it wasn't even wasn't that long. This closed the vent a bit. Try to choke off some of the air supply. Just to drop that temperature down. And we're running 95 degrees. Internal temperature. So we're back. Running internal temperature, 110. Again, about 425. Look at that. Oh god, it smells delicious. I'm sure this will flare up. It's all good. I'll let this sit for a bit on this end, or this side, before I flip it over. Just smother it in. Let it get in there. 
obviously the two ends they're tapered or smaller they're thinner they're gonna in theory cook first and could have a tendency of drying out so let's be conscious of that I'm literally just gonna lift it up just to make sure nothing stuck I'll shift it over a little bit more look at that smells amazing we'll get around 400 it's showing 133 and if you could smell this Wow. I'm just going to give her a little bit of a shift. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Oh, my God. Good thing I can edit stuff. We'll put the marinade on this side. Sauce, I guess you call it. Showing 142, 129, so 118, yeah. It's not it's not not where it needs to be yet. But that's okay. Alarm went off. Showing 146 degrees right now. I will check it. Use another thermometer. Hundred and fifty degrees. Sixty. Sixty. I'm paranoid, so I check a lot. We're good. I'm going to take this off, let it rest, probably half an hour, maybe 20 minutes before I cut it. Okay, here we are. This is about 20 some odd minutes. It's sticky and. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It smells amazing. Beautiful texture, beautiful color. Take a look at that. And now, let's see what it tastes like. Holy cow. That's awesome. Look at that. It's absolutely amazing. Beautiful smoke ring. The sauce, oh, glorious. So delicious. Well, everyone, that concludes today's video. I hope you enjoyed the bacon wrapped pork loin. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. And if you want to get 
notified every time I drop a new video, hit that notification bell. Until next time, Sergeant Major Smoke, out.